Earlier this year, I reviewed the Aura Ring and I liked it. However, there was one thing I didn't like and that was their monthly subscription fees. So I felt like I had no other choice than to try out some other fitness rings that don't require a subscription. So in today's video, I'll be sharing my experience with the Ultra Human Air as well as the Generation 2 Aura Ring. And at the end of the video, we'll find out which ring is best and if the subscription fee is actually worth it. Starting with the Ultra Human Ring Air. The ring comes in five different colors and is currently $349, which is about 278 pounds which is already cheaper than the Aura Ring, which is around £299 before you add the monthly subscription fee of £5.99. And the ring works by using LED sensors to monitor your heart rate through your finger. One major design difference in the rings is that the Aura Ring has a line at the top, which makes it a lot easier to put on correctly. And what I mean by that is as the Ultra Human Ring is a complete circle, there is no way to distinguish which way is up and which way is down. And if you put it on upside down, the LED sensors aren't going to be able to read your data correctly. I personally find the Ultra Human Ring more comfortable than the Aura Ring and I believe that is because the Aura Ring has these raised bumps on the inside of the ring which just make it a little bit harder to get on and off and just a little less comfortable. The ring sizing is also different between the two rings. I was a size 10 in the Ultra Human Ring but a size 11 in the Aura Ring. Now onto the most important feature of the rings and that is the app. Now the layout may be a little bit different but again the app is very similar to the Aura Ring giving you a daily sleep, recovery and movement score as well as offering extras like meditations, workouts and sleep sleep stories. Ultra Human even have some unique features not included with the Aura Ring, such as a stimulant window as well as the impact of natural light. Although these features are quite cool, I don't think they're quite necessary. I think we all know nowadays to try and get sunlight within the first hour of waking to help regulate our sleep cycle, as well as to avoid stimulants for the first one to two hours while our cortisol levels lower. Ultra Human is always innovating and just the start of this week they added a new stress score, again similar to the Aura app, but they are always putting new things in and trying new stuff out. Anyway, now it's time to get into the juicy pros and cons. Now I think we can all agree that the main pro has to be that there's no subscription fee. Now I mentioned in my Aura Ring video that it could be a good idea to get the older generation 2 Aura Ring as that one doesn't have a subscription. And I decided to put this to the test and ordered a generation 2 Aura Ring from eBay for 120 quid and initially I was loving life. However this was short lived when I realised that the battery life had diminished drastically and would barely last a day and a half. After doing a bit of research I found out that all fitness trackers aren't built to last and these internal batteries diminish rapidly within one to two years. So for this reason alone I wouldn't recommend getting a secondhand fitness ring unless you don't mind charging it every day and if that's the case then I would highly recommend getting an Aura Generation 2 ring off eBay. Another positive about the Ultra Human ring, the battery life is also very good, roughly only needing to charge it about every four days. I also found the customer support very good, however the fact that I had to interact with the customer support so much is going to lead us on to the first negative. Now for the first couple of weeks of using the Ultra Human Ring, it had a real hard time reading my sleep, so much so the Ultra Human actually sent me a new ring, and even the new ring was only recording my sleep data at like 50% of the time. However, about a month ago, Ultra Human had a system update, and since the update, my sleep data has been recorded fine. Although I did not experience any of these issues with either of the Aura Rings, and for a couple of weeks I was wearing the Aura Ring and the Ultra Human Ring simultaneously, and the Aura Ring would record my sleep perfectly, and the Ultra Human wouldn't. Also, the LED sensor sensors are, are very bright on the Ultra Human Ring and if you're someone who likes to sleep in complete darkness like myself you're gonna have to make sure that your hand is under the duvet. Again I don't get this issue with the Aura Ring so I'm not quite sure why the LEDs are so much brighter on the Ultra Human Ring. And finally as previously mentioned in the app section as fun and unique some of their app features are I think a lot of them are just not necessary. Ironically my favorite feature from the Aura Ring 3 is actually missing from the Ultra Human and the Aura Ring 2 and that is the tag feature. This feature allows you to add tags throughout your day, which makes it easy to identify habits or activities that could be drastically affecting your recovery and sleep scores. However, with their consistent software updates, I wouldn't be surprised if Ultra Human have something similar in the not too distant future. Overall, with these fitness trackers, even though they may look a little bit different and the apps may have a different layout, they pretty much do the same thing and provide the same amount of information. However, I would say right now that the new Aura Ring is the best option in my personal opinion. This is predominantly due to the tag feature as well as I didn't experience any issues recording my sleep data. But is it worth paying a monthly subscription fee for that feature alone? I'll leave that up to you.